Hey everybody, it's Dante2, and welcome to Let's Play Kirby Squeak Squad. Yep, this is my new LP. Uh, just something I want to go over with right now. Uh, some people might not have read the update, because I know some people don't watch updates for whatever reason. Um, essentially, I've run out of footage for... Uh, no, uh, not Nightmare Dreamland, I finished that. I've run out of footage for Super Mario RPG. Uh, because Play Game was only here for so long, he had to go back to college, and yeah, we kind of only were able to record so much. Um, I do plan on finishing it when he gets back, probably either spring break, or if not then, probably over the summer. Anyway, this is Kirby Squeak Squad. I like this game. I this is probably my favorite Kirby game of all time. I'm probably going to gush a little bit. But I'll try and keep that at a minimum because it does have some problems, mostly, uh, mostly just you know not being very original. But at the same time, it's good in its own right and it's extremely fun to play. So let's get started. This is the best story ever. You're gonna. It's the most inspiring thing I've ever seen. Oh, it's so peaceful and quiet. Snack time. Oh boy. I love snack time. Kirby, every time is snack. Every time of the day is snack time for you, actually, probably. I have a daughter sleeping. Oh boy. Hey, where'd our strawberry shortcake go? There might be some slowdown every so often but I don't it's not that bad and actually the game runs really smoothly of course it must be King Dedede even though that shadow looked nothing like him Kirby has the mental intelligence of a five-year-old this is our this is our motivation for the story is to get our strawberry shortcake back yes this is why we're going on a fantastic adventure to get cake no cake is a lie, jokes, I swear. Anyway, this is Kirby. Um, yeah. Uh, unlike Kirby, um, Nightmare in Dreamland, we can only suck for so long before we, uh, stop. It's kind of, from what I can tell, the graphics and gameplay is based somewhat off of, um, Amazing Mirror, at least the, uh, build of the engine, I believe. And first power up we get is Beam. Beam pretty much hasn't changed since, uh, Nightmare in Dreamland. Uh, still basic same attack. Um, I'll go over our abilities in a minute. There's something weird about Bean that I never, I never knew up until now because, um, when I was doing test recordings for this, uh, if you could tell when I hit enemies, uh, little, um, lines come off of them that are green. That's an, um, there's basically, there's three elements in this game, electricity, fire, and ice. Uh, that's an electricity spark, so that means it's electricity elemental. I did not realize that the default beam had the electricity elemental in it. Um, you'll see this better, I think, right here. I'm looking for water, mostly. Yeah, here. As you see, uh, when we use it on the water, it's, it arcs. Anything with electricity will do that. I thought you only got that with the power-up of beam, but uh, apparently I was wrong. Uh, underwater, we have our standard underwater ability. You know, spray water in different directions. Uh, same three power-ups that, uh, cause different effects underwater. Hammer, uh, sword, and, uh, parasol as usual. But I'll go over them when we get them. And another level. Uh, crap. For some reason in, uh, extra mode, there's usually a, uh, one-up there. Okay, good, I did get the one-up in the level, because I'm gonna need those. Because they stop giving you one-ups eventually. Anyway. This is going to introduce our uh, thing for our ugh, our gimmick for this game, which is essentially on the bottom screen, which give me two seconds and I'll pop it up. Okay, here's our bottom screen. I just flipped the screens around so we can see it. Um, you have basically five spots and bubble items like this, which bubble items can be like copy abilities, uh, food items, and basically anything that is in a bubble can come in here. Um, also, treasure chests that we collect are in here as well, but I'll go over those in a little bit, because this is our first level with chests. Uh, essentially, you tap it, and it activates. Now, you're not going to see it activate. I'm going to just flip the screens around, and you're going to see it activated. 
Uh, you can only hold five at a time, and most stages will have three treasure chests, so unless you're repeating a stage, it's nice to usually have three open spots, just in case. Uh, but I'm going to flip the screens back around, and we're going to keep playing. Alright, we're back. I'm sorry if my mouse ever lingers on the screen, because that's essentially my stylus for this game. Anyway, we have Sword here. Uh, Sword, uh, unlike Nightmare Dream Land, has a three-hit combo again. Uh, we still have our same other basic attacks, Shockwave and Spin. Uh, Sword gets some pretty cool upgrades. Alright, uh, here's, uh, part two of Bubbles. Uh, this is essentially teaching you how to combine Bubbles. I'm gonna flip the screen around again, and I'll see you guys in a second. Alright, we're back. You probably caught me, uh, flipping the screens there, but, oh well. Uh, essentially, you grab one bubble, and you put it next to another one, and you can combine them. You can shake them up. Okay, I can't demonstrate here, but with copy abilities, you can shake it up and, uh, create different, uh, bubble colors. Uh, different bubble colors, uh, once you shake them, tend to, uh, create different, uh, copy abilities, or lessen the random chance of, uh, certain ones. So... The only one I've gotten to work successfully, like, constant, is the green, uh, bubbles seem to create spark. I would assume red creates fire and, uh, blue creates ice more often as well, because they also go through those, too. Uh, I'm gonna flip the screens around again, as you just saw, just combine them. You can only combine like items, like, you can only combine food with food, copy items with copy items, and there are some other ones that I'll go over in a little bit. Well, not a little bit, but when I get them, because I'm not gonna pick them up for a while. See you guys in a sec. All right, I'm back. Anyway, uh, there's a sword guy down there. I'm just gonna kill him. So I, we can't make bubbles on our own right now, and there's treasure. Treasure is our objective in this game. Uh, we want treasure because I don't know. It's not explained yet, but we do want treasure because treasure is treasure. We are not Wario, but we still like treasure. Anyway, we have Cutter now. Cutter. Uh, compared to, um, Nightmare in Dreamland, it seems a bit more controlled, to me, at least. And the upgrade to it is really nice. It basically becomes my staple offensive for this game. Oh. Yeah, we only have one treasure chest in this area, so... And Kirby does his dance. And we get beginner note, beginning notes. There, we unfortunately have no sound player yet, so we can't play them. Roll one three, and let's just grab you so I can hear you. Fire, fire, and um, burning have been combined in this game. You can shoot fire, or if you double tap and then press B, you can do burning's ability. And that's pretty much it for fire. Uh, fire burns grass, fire does a lot of things. I think I just burned an item there, I'm not sure. And bubble, I want that. Now here, I believe, is one up. Yep. <clears throat> yeah, as you can see, when the game loads between screens, there's a bit of a uh, slowdown. But that's pretty much the only time I've ever seen slowdown in this game, except for maybe the final fight, or some of the boss fights. Actually, I think the boss of World 4 is going to cause some slowdown on the emulator. <clears throat> Sorry. Throat's getting sore. Now, I wish I could show this, but I remember there's a way to kill this boss without actually jumping up there. But I don't remember how to do it. So I'm going to have to fight him the old-fashioned way. by repeatedly rolling into him. Or doing that. Here we get ice. Ice is like fire, except you don't have any kind of rolling ability. <clears throat> Give me a second, I gotta get a drink of water. <clears throat> That's good. Alright. Meet these guys. We all know these guys. You suck on them, they turn angry. But we turn into ice blocks and throw them at each other now. Ice freezes water. And ice also freezes enemies. Stay away from me. Send this guy to death. Here's a new ability, Animal. Animal's a pretty cool ability, actually. It allows you to dig through dirt and later, I believe, snow. 
but we don't get to snow. Snow's only in like one level, and it's essentially just a recolor of dirt. Uh, you can slash by pressing B, and by dashing and hitting B, you can jump on people and maul them. Uh, Animal gets a lot better with its upgrade because it allows you to move really fast, essentially, but we don't have it yet, so it's not exactly the best thing. And I'm going to drop it here for something else. And Squeaks show up. Squeaks will show up normally when you grab the big chests like that. They may also show up before then for smaller chests. They also can show up multiple times per level. Come on. Come on. I'm trying to get him to do an attack because I want that. Ninja ability. Probably a little bit early to go over ninja, but... Actually, I'm going to wait till the next level to go over it. Because we keep our power-ups between levels. I'm going to go for a little bit of length on this episode, I think. Also because I have to do editing. Anyway, Kirby does his dance. And we get the fire scroll, which unlocks... Uh, ability scrolls, which... Like the fire scroll, unlock new abilities for uh, the specific ability that they have. Uh, I'll go over fire scroll next time I get a fire ability. And we get the sound player so we can listen to those beginning notes. Anyway, ninja, I think I can go over it here somewhat. Uh, press B for shurikens. Um, B, uh, dashing while pressing B allows you to use your knife. Uh, I'll go over. Uh, let me find some enemies, I'll go over the rest of the ninja's abilities. There's an enemy. If you dash up to an enemy and press B, you can do a suplex on them. Uh, you can also do a downwards kick by uh, pressing down and B in midair. I did not mean to take that. I just use that. Uh, I think that's all the ninja's abilities that I have right now. So I'm just going to drop it. If anything else comes up, I'll go over it. Ninja can also walk on water, so that's kind of cool. Uh, let's try out Spark. Spark, press B, it'll create a field around you. Uh, Spark's a little bit different in this game. If you, uh, move your D-pad back and forth, or control stick in my case, uh, you gather electricity and your, uh, radius becomes bigger. Uh, that becomes more important when Spark gets its upgrade, but it doesn't have it yet, so we can't exactly do anything with it. Grab chest up here. And then avoid these guys. And go for the door. Oh, there's invincibility. You want to grab it. And run. Because this becomes much easier if you just if you have invincibility where you need it. Let's drop that, grab you. So I can show off fire in a minute. Grab that. Now what I want to do is drop through here, and just take a shortcut there. Anyway, fire. Fire's upgrade allows you to arc it up and down. You know, it just makes it easier to solve puzzle later. But other than that, it doesn't really do much. Anyway, we're gonna have another squeak battle here. Another thing about squeaks is they are extremely susceptible to uh, elements. They'll stun them, actually. Except for a certain scenario, which I may get into later. Actually, I'm guaranteed to get into it later. Also, I should probably tell you what happens when uh, the squeaks get the chest. The squeaks will pick up a chest. Uh, the big squeak, or actually any squeak in general, um, will run it back to the castle or uh, base or whatever it's called. And they will uh, go inside. If they make it inside, you have to beat them inside and uh, clear the house to um, get the chest back. Jeez, that bomb was harder to hit than it should have been. Uh, sometimes the game will put you in situations where you pretty much can't get to them beforehand. You have to go into the house. Anyway, this is probably going to be the last level for right now. And we have spray paint green. It allows you to change your color. Uh, graphics piece. It's a collectible. And the secret door key, which unlocks secret level. And I think that's going to be all for right now. So this has been Dante 2 and I will see you next time on Let's Play Kirby Squeak Squad. See ya.